side lying, upper spine, integration and release. The purpose of this action pattern is to recover control of the muscles that affect movements of the neck and head and side bending actions of the neck and upper trunk. This section consists of an increasing series of movement elements that you assemble. At the beginning, you may want to do only part of this session according to your comfort level. Likewise, during any movement action, if you find you get too fatigued, just relax and rest and listen for the next instruction that you can do. If you have jaw troubles, you may clench the teeth on the side toward which you're lifting during the contraction phase and relax your jaw clench as you lower yourself. Working position, lying on your side, knees roughly straight forward of your hips, bent to 90 degrees or so, top side arm along your side. Underside arm may be either loosely forward or folded so that your arm cradles your head or in a more advanced position, the underside arm tucked under your side so you're lying upon it, causing you to curve sideways. You're lying on the side of your ribs, rolled neither forward nor back. Let's rehearse some movements. First, the top side arm. With the top side arm, you reach along your side to pull your shoulder or armpit toward your waist. You use this arm reaching movement to help lift your head and to contract your top side. Do that now two or three times. Reach and release. Now we combine that movement with a neck and head movement. The neck and head movement is that of lifting. Lifting means away from the ground or surface. Exhale to help lift your head. Do that now three times. Complete what you're doing and come to complete rest. Now we combine the actions. You exhale when you feel yourself tighten, lift your neck and head and reach with the arm. Notice that the actions help each other. You exhale, lift your head and reach with your arm. Then slowly relax down. Do that now three times. Complete what you're doing and come to complete rest. Next action to rehearse, the scrunch. In the scrunch, you'll pull your shoulder into your neck, bend your elbow all the way, turn your palm away from your face and make a gentle fist. And in that shape, pull everything into your neck. Do that now. Feel how that affects your neck. Do that now. Pulsing three times or so.
and complete what you're doing, come to complete rest. Next action, aiming neck and head position to locate places of contraction or tension or discomfort in your neck. You lift your head and slowly bow your head forward, slowly move your head back, looking for positions that bring a bit of discomfort or fatigue in your neck. Do that now. Lift, bow forward, arch back. You may notice more than one. Complete what you're doing. Come to complete rest and listen. The next action builds upon the previous where you have lifted and gone forward and back. Having located a position of discomfort or fatigue, you keep the side of your face parallel to the surface as you roll forward and back on your ribs to locate the position that helps you feel it the most. Your head is lifted. You've gone forward and back. You've found something. You roll on your underside ribs forward and back to locate the position that helps you feel the found sensation the most. That will be your next working position. Do that now. And complete what you're doing. Come to complete rest. Next action. Having learned how to locate working position in your neck, you add the scrunch, pulling your shoulder straight toward the sensation in your neck you've found with the intention of feeling it more distinctly. That means you must aim your shoulder pull the correct direction to make yourself feel that neck sensation more. It may be your shoulder comes forward or your shoulder comes backward. Scan by moving your shoulder forward and back until you learn how to combine the shoulder scrunch with the aimed position of neck and head. Do that now. When you've found it, pulse it a few times by tightening neck and shoulder. Complete what you're doing and come to complete rest. Next action, breathing into the place that you've found. In breathing into the place that you've found, you locate your neck and head working position, do the scrunch, and breathe into the sensation in your neck. You do that by putting your attention there and intending to have the air go into that place as you scrunch into it. You locate the working position with neck and head, do the arm and shoulder scrunch, and then breathe into the sensation that you've found. Do that now. You may require several little breaths. You must inhale to the maximum. Do that now. Complete what you're doing and come to complete rest. 
Now you've assembled all of the action patterns that enable you to gain control of the place in your neck and upper back that are contracted. If you have multiple locations, you do multiple repetitions aiming at the different locations, cleaning up each location as best you can through adequate numbers of repetitions before moving to another. Now we're going to combine the breathing with a release phase. First I'll describe. Having found the working position and done the scrunch as you've practiced so far, while lifted, still exhaled, you inhale to the maximum. You keep that inhalation and you don't hold your breath as if underwater, but rather in the action of inhaling and slowly lower your neck and head. At a certain distance of lowering, you'll feel something pull that doesn't want to let go. At that point, you exhale at the same speed as you're lowering your head, part way. Then you inhale to the maximum again, lower, find your resistant pull, and exhale to allow yourself to sink. The direction exhaling makes you want to sink. You sink in the direction that exhaling lets you sink. Let's rehearse it now, just doing one breath cycle. So you exhale, lift your head, reach your arm. Now locate your neck and head working position while lifted. Forward back, right to left. When you've found it, do the scrunch pulling your shoulder straight at that place. You may need to do multiple little scrunches to aim accurately. Now inhale into that place. You may need to inhale several times always to the maximum. And now pulse everything again, squeezing. Now hold your breath as if underwater. Feel yourself relax a bit. And inhale to the maximum again. While inhaled to the maximum, lower your neck and head until you feel something in your neck or trunk. Resist lowering further. Do that now. When you hit the resistance, slowly exhale just a little bit and then lower yourself, exhaling at the speed at which you're lowering yourself. To complete rest. And again, exhale, lift your head, reach the arm, locate your neck and head working position. Do that now. Shoulder scrunch, elbow bent all the way, gentle fist. Aim straight at the place in your neck with your shoulder. Pulse it a few times. Inhale into that, to the maximum, a few times. Hold your breath, then inhale one more time. Start to lower. When you meet resistance to lowering, start to exhale at the speed at which you're lowering. Complete what you're doing. Come to complete rest. In this next rehearsal, rather than doing one long exhalation on the way down, you do a series of maximum inhalation followed by paced exhalation several times on the way down. Do that now. Exhale up, reach the arm, 
Move neck and head to working position. Scrunch your shoulder toward that place. Do multiple scrunches to aim in to be accurate if needed. Inhale to the maximum into that place. Do a series of bumping up against the maximum inhalation. Hold. Pulse the whole thing one more time. Start to lower your neck and head. When you meet resistance to lowering, exhale enough to let yourself lower. In that position, inhale to the maximum. Lower some more. Find the resistance to lowering. Exhale to let yourself lower further. Feel the direction exhaling lets you go. Pause there. Inhale to the maximum again. Scrunch. Lower. Find the resistance to lowering. Exhale to let yourself lower further. All the way now to complete rest. Once you know this action pattern, you may go straight to the assembled contraction pattern and multiple exhalations on the way down. Turn on to your back and feel the effect. Compare the left and right sides of your neck, your ribs, your waist. Now repeat this entire practice session lying on your other side. This completes instruction in the side lying upper spine, integration and release.